Today I'm going to talk about how we should not criticize. And that's a big one. It is a spiritual quest, a journey to get to that point where you don't criticize yourself or criticize others. It has been said, if I long to improve my brother, the first step toward doing so is to improve myself. In Romans 14, 19 and 20, it says, let's agree to use all our energy in getting along with each other. Help others with encouraging words. Don't drag them down by finding fault. From experience, we know that it is so easy to criticize. And we know that it's far easier, or so it seems, to find faults than to find solutions. The urge to criticize remains a powerful temptation within the human mind. But negativity is contagious. We give it to others who, in turn, give it right back to us multiplied. The cycle can be broken only by positive thoughts, heartfelt prayers, encouraging words, and meaningful acts of kindness. As children of a loving God who pour out God's blessings as God gives to us, we really have no valid reason no legitimate excuse to be negative. So when we're tempted to be critical of others or overly critical of ourselves, let's instead call upon the transforming power, the transforming power that can go through us and change us at depth. Let's call upon the transforming power of God to break the chains of negativity. And with God's help, we can defeat negativity before negativity defeats us.